Hello and welcome to this chapter on installing and configuring the Salt Master. As I mentioned in the introduction, Salt can be run in one of two ways. The first way is in a master minion configuration. So in Salt Stack, the slaves are lovingly known as minions who do the bidding of their master. The idea behind this is that your Salt Master holds all the information and then sends all the instructions that your minions need in order to do their job correctly. In this first video, we're going to go over the installation of the Salt Master role. I'm going to be installing the Master on a system running Debian Wheezy. You're able to run the Salt Master on any of the supported platforms except for Microsoft Windows, which does not support being a master currently, and there's really no plans for that to happen in the future. There are many ways to install Salt on your machine, but the tool I'm going to focus on today is a project called Salt Bootstrap. Salt Bootstrap is a shell script that you can download that will do everything necessary in order to install the prerequisites and to install Salt Master, and Salt Minion for that matter, on most of the popular Linux distributions that are commonly used in production systems today. So to get things started, I'm going to log into a box that is hosting my Salt Master, or rather it will host my Salt Master once we're done here today. As I mentioned before, this is a system that's running Debian Wheezy. If you're not that familiar with Debian or you prefer another distribution such as CentOS, don't worry. The script works uh, very similarly in the other distributions as well. I've set up my local DNS entries on my side so that the master server's DNS name is master.saltdemo.com. So let me bring up my terminal here and SSH into master.saltdemo.com. And I'm going to go root, just to make things simpler here, and clear out the terminal. So from the salt stack documentation page, what I'm going to do is grab this command and post it into my shell. So what you may notice is that I did not take all the arguments from this page. So I think it'd be helpful to go over what this is doing very quickly. So this curl command is downloading the salt bootstrap code from bootstrap.saltstack.org and passing it in and telling sh to execute it. This dash s and two dashes is telling the sh that everything passed here that you should pass in as an argument to the salt bootstrap code. The dash M is telling the salt bootstrap code that it wants to install the master as well as the minion. Now the reason I didn't pass through the dash N to the script is that I actually want to install the salt minion as well. It, just so you know, running the master and minion is definitely something that you can do on the same server. And in fact, if you're managing a production environment, it's something that uh, you may actually want to do once you start using salt to manage all your user accounts and everything along those lines. So let's hit enter and it's going by really fast. Let's see what's happening here. So it detected that we are running Debian just fine and it's doing what looks to be an apt-get update. As we scroll through here, it looks to be installing some packages. It's installing Python ZMQ and libzmq3, which is what Salt uh, uses as its messaging layer, unlike uh, tools like Capistrano, which use uh, SSH as the execution layer, messaging layer. So we can see it installing salt and all of its prerequisites. And as we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see that it has successfully installed both the salt minion and the salt master. So if we take a look and we grep for salt master, we'll see that it is in fact running and we got a whole bunch of processes running as well. Uh, you don't have to worry that it's running so many processes. That is perfectly, perfectly normal. And since I mentioned that we're on a Debian system, I want to take a look at what it has done to our sources list for apt. So if we take a look here, we can see that it has added a uh, repository into our apt uh, system. So now whenever we want apt get update or apt get upgrade, if a new version's out, it's going to automatically be executed. So you don't have to go back to this page, look 
for new versions of Salt. They'll all be streamlined and put in. If you're using CentOS and you're using Yum, it's going to accomplish the same thing. So now that we have the Salt Master installed, uh, let's focus on the Salt documentation page for a second. Now I included this URL to the page that I'm on in the class notes. And this will give you all their supported platforms for the Salt Bootstrap, and it also gives you a link to click uh, or to go to the Salt Bootstrap GitHub page. The GitHub page will give you all kinds of directions uh, for using Salt Bootstrap in very different ways. So, I installed the latest Salt Master using the latest stable version, but you can pass through this Git develop into Salt Bootstrap and install the latest uh, Bleeding Edge version. So you may be interested in running the Bleeding Edge version if there is a bug fix in Salt that really needs to, uh, it's kind of a showstopper for you, so you really need it. But generally, I would focus on running the stable version because you're going to get a lot better of an experience on there. So now that the Salt Master has been installed, let's move over to the next video, configuring the Salt Master. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, my name is Will, and I'm the creator of the SALT course. I wanted to put out these videos for free as my way of giving back to the SALT stack community for being a part of something that allows me to do my job better and faster than I ever did before. If this video or this course has helped or been a blessing to you in any way, I have a favor to ask of you right now. Please click the link on your screen to head over to the kiva.com website. Kiva is a website that allows you to provide what is known as a microloan to people living in third world countries. These microloans are so important because they are empowering the entrepreneurship that is needed in these countries to help lift families and communities out of poverty. You'll be able to do everything from buy cows or chickens for a farm so that the person can sell the milk or eggs to buying food so that a local marketplace can obtain and provide food to resale at a reasonable cost. Right now, you have the power to make a real difference in this world. In fact, by clicking the link in this video right now, Kiva will give you $25 to make your first loan at absolutely no cost to you. And by using it, you'll also give me a $25 bonus so that I can make a loan as well and help bring resources to people and places that need our help desperately. Together, you and I can change the world, and all it takes to get started is clicking this link. Thank you so much for watching the SALT course and for helping Kiva and for helping all the people who really need your help right now. Thank you.